Hi everyone. Today we're going to do a little tutorial on uh, YouTube basics. Uh, YouTube has changed a little bit over time, so let's get started. So I'm going to use Chrome here today. Start up Chrome to Google, and uh, I'm already logged in. Uh, up here is YouTube. We're going to click on YouTube, and it's going to take me to my YouTube dashboard. It's going to give me ads. It's going to give me my, my YouTube homepage information. And what I really want to look at are, is this little panel over here. So I'm going to click on my name. And then that panel moves up. But it's going to show me um, my activity on Google. Um, it's, it shows me what I've done on Google. And as I scroll down here, and I keep scrolling down here, I'll get to... Um, it just goes through all the things that you've done here on YouTube lately. Um, it's got a watch later. You may have bookmarked something that you want to look at later. Um, it's got your history. So if you found a really great video at one point that you watched and you couldn't remember what it's called for the life of you, you can click on Watch History and it'll tell you all the vids that you've looked at. So you can, you can scroll down and find it and easily be able to um, know what you watched. You also have playlists. And playlists are um, something that's pretty useful. Um, I've made several. I have my favorite. I have my tutorials that I've made of the master's program that I'm in. Um, I have some staff development videos. If I ever do some staff development for my school, uh, I have collaboration, things that I think are important for developing collaboration. Um, something I'm interested in called EdCamp. Um, just whatever you are interested in, you can make um, a playlist for that. And it will store your videos together. If you look at this one, it shows videos that are nested together. So if I was to click through, it would give me a list of my videos here. So that's one thing that you can do with playlists. Um, as you keep going down, you get some what to watch, you got your subscriptions, and then your subscriptions are listed here. And my subscriptions are listed here. And then off to the right of each one, you'll see a little new activity number. So I haven't been watching Steve Ramsey very much. Bill Selleck has a new video. Uh, O'Brien Guitars doesn't have anything new, but Karen Mensing does and Flip Training. So it's an easy way to keep track of the things that you want. And every time you want to subscribe to something, um, you could simply, when you're watching the video, there'll be a subscribe button. But another thing that this does is off to the right, it'll give you recommended channels. Recommended channels are based on what you already are using. And let's say I haven't subscribed to Khan and I want to. So I'll click subscribe here and it'll tell me that I'm subscribed and it'll add it to my subscriptions. Same thing with Ted Ed. I'm not subscribed. I'm going to click subscribe and it's going to stick it over here in my subscriptions. So you have a pair fairly powerful interface with the YouTube uh, uh, homepage here. I'm going to click back on my name and I'm going to show you the video manager. So it says here's my username for YouTube and then over here on the right it has a button that says video manager so we're gonna click video manager and I'm gonna show you what that is now video manager has a new set of options over here now I'm currently in my uploads I've uploaded 10 videos tutorials hangouts that I've done and some other things that I've done now playlists so this is the place where you're gonna add things to playlists this is where you manage your playlist um, I can create a new playlist here by clicking plus and saying, uh, let's call it school resources. Okay, and so it's going to create a new playlist. It's going to say this has no videos. All right, so I like this. I'm going to click save. It's going gonna, it's gonna to leave me here, I guess. So I'm going to click back on video manager and it's going to be back in playlist. So here's school resources. This list is empty. Now to put movies in to a category, a playlist, um, you're going to go and you're going to find a video. So here's my Google image search. You're going to click on that video. I'm going to pause it really quickly so it doesn't start playing here. But once you get into a video, as you move down, it's going to say with the video title, here's the video maker's name. That's me. I subscribe. I can subscribe. I'm not going to subscribe to myself because I really don't need to. And it says, no need to subscribe to yourself. But then you got your about, which is information about this video. You got share. If you click share, it'll give you a code here for this video. Now, if you're a web developer or you're making a website or you're a blogger, you can click on the embed link here and it'll give you an embed code. You copy that embed code and then you paste it into your um, 
either blog or web design software. You can email this video by clicking email. It has its own uh, way to do it. You just add the email address and give a little comment. Um, you can use this video in a Hangout, um, which is uh, Google Plus's um, video chat software. And then over here is Add To. When I click Add To, it gives me my playlists. If I want to put my Google image search in my school resources, which I just made, I'll click School Resource. It's going to say one now. That means this video is now in there. I can put a note if I want to put a note. If I don't do, don't want to, I can just hit close. And then when I click on my Google resources, oh, I just put it in again. But it's it's there. That video is there. And then I close that and I move on. So I'm going to click guide here. That'll take me back to, uh, it'll give me my options again. Click back on my name. I'm going to click on my video manager to go back to my video manager. And I'm going to go back to playlists and show you that it added it. So here's school resources. And it has two videos. Now we have two of the same video because I clicked it twice. So I'm going to click edit. Okay, once I'm in edit, it's going to show a Google image search by Dustin Ellis, Google image search. I don't want them both. So I'm going to put a check in the box. And under actions, I'm going to hit remove video from playlist. And it's only going to remove the, anything that I checked. So now I have one video in here, and that's exactly how I want it. I'm going to click Save and go back to the Video Manager. So playlists are pretty powerful. You can use them for a lot of things. Um, once again, I got my history here that it takes me through. It'll give me my search history. These are the things that I've searched for on YouTube. It has my Watch Later videos that I've saved for watching later. It has some favorites on here that I've made for that I've called favorites. Um, it has some likes that I've liked. Um, so the video manager has some power to it. Now, the next feature is something that a lot of people don't know about, and that's video editor. It'll take your videos, and you can drag them together and edit them, much like an iMovie or um, any other video editing type software. Um, pretty powerful. I've used it a couple times. It doesn't have the most intricate controls, but it's not meant to. It's just meant to be able to make your video a little bit better than it was. Um, next button here is subscriptions. These are the things that I've subscribed to. Bill Selleck, Ted Education, Hobby King Live, Khan Academy. Um, a way to maintain your subscriptions. Next is analytics, and analytics is kind of fun. So analytics will tell you the views that you've had, estimated minutes watched, um, it'll tell you how many likes, dislikes, comments, shares, favorites. Um, it tells you a lot of things. And then you get down here and it'll t show your videos that you've made and it'll tell you. Um, this video has 12 views. It's been watched for 14 minutes. So there's some power in analytics. It actually lets you see how your videos are doing and what you could do to um, make your videos better. Um, based on views and whatnot. So you can kind of track, okay, people like my Google Reader. So people like this tutorial better than they like this Hangout and much better than they like this Hangout or my Google Drive basics video, which kind of makes me sad because I like that one. Um, then I have an inbox here. So it tells me who has uh, messaged me here. And then I have my settings, which... Um, if I want to upload videos from my phone, it gives me a, a URL here that I can uh, upload videos to, and it'll upload them straight to my account. So YouTube is a pretty powerful tool, uh, not only for just watching videos, but also for making your own and categorizing them. Um, let's say you segment your life. Let's say you know you have your family stuff, and you have your work stuff, and you have your hobby stuff. Um, then playlists can be a pretty powerful thing because you can be looking for videos. One of my hobbies and one of my subscriptions here is um, one of my subscriptions is this man named where is he? Uh, where did he go? Steve Ramsey and Steve Ramsey is a woodworker. Um, but he's he is a in the garage woodworker. I'm a woodworker. I like doing woodworking, and he's just something that I found that I like to look at because he's not 
flash. He doesn't have the most expensive tools in the universe. He has about what I have. He has a skill level about like I have. And yet he's making these really great videos. So this is uh, one subscription that I like. I haven't made a, a um, playlist for woodworking. Maybe I should. Um, it's only limited by your imagination. Um, YouTube is a really great place to spend some time um, and do more than just watch videos. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.